Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we're going to explore another dimension of securing your Red Hat Linux 6 server by password protecting the Grub bootloader. So let's just log into the server and specify our credentials here. Now, uh, to make any amendments in the Grub menu, the configuration file is edcgrub.conf and Let's just, just cap the contents of this file. And here it displays the menu that we see at the time the system boots up, the grub menu that comes up. So um, there are certain implications as in, in terms of if anybody's got a physical or a console access to the server, can go about modifying the kernel parameters or even changing the root test parameters here and can cause... Um, uh, security concern of course so uh, let's see how we go about protecting this with a password now uh, to protect this with a password we need to specify the password within this file for the grub bootloader uh, we can do that in the plain terms putting up a plain password as well but it's customary in the production environment to put up an encrypted password now now the thing is how to go about generating that encryption so uh, the command here is grub hyphen md5 hyphen crypt and it will ask you for a password. Just specify the password here, retype the password, and this will generate an encryption here for the password we have specified. Now alternatively you can also run grub hyphen crypt and let me just uh, specify it with the hyphen H option to demonstrate all the encryption algorithms that are available to generate this password encryption. You can use MD5, SHA-256, SHA-512, either of them. And uh, you can just specify hyphen hyphen MD5 and this is another way of generating the password encryption. So let's just go about doing it. This is the encryption for the password that we intend to keep. Now let's vi the contents of edcgrub.conf and before this line hidden menu just type in here password and specify hyphen hyphen md5 it's an insignia of the fact that the encryption that we are using it's an md5 uh, encryption algorithm that's that's being used here and paste here the encryption sequence that we have generated for our password. Just save the file. Let's reboot the server and let's get to the console and it's gonna some, take some time to for the server to come up. So let's just time elapse this. So let's see how it goes. Let's put in here to edit the menu and if you see here that it asking is to press in P to enter a password to unlock the next set of features. So the server will be able to boot the moment you press enter the server will go uh, go about uh, booting the normal way around with the current uh, kernel parameters and the disks that has been specified here but in case somebody intends to make any amendment here the person needs to know the password. So. Here, after putting in the password, you can go about editing the kernel parameters or the root disk or any of the, and whatever you feel like. So, uh, the next thing that comes into the picture is that this, of course, uh, it, it prevents somebody from getting into the grub menu, but what in case you intend to put up a boot password to uh, say uh, boot the server up as in whenever the server boots it should ask for a password before coming up. So let's just wait for the server to come up and time elapse this. Now uh, the server is up and it, it, the time is one minute. Let's just uh, edit the contents of edcgrub.conf further to explore what further security sequence we can put in. And after this word, uh, this line title here, if we place a keyword lock here, this will make it mandatory to put in a password for the system to boot up right. Let's do this and reboot the server again. Now this is again, will this again will take a little time to come up. So let's just time elapse this as well. 
Now the server is booting and it says press any key to continue. We didn't press any key and it says that this must be authenticated. Press any key to continue. We press the key. Now it asks for the password to get into the grab menu. Unless and until the password is provided and you boot the server after punching in the password, the server will not come up after specifying the keyword lock there in etcgrab.conf file. So let's just specify the password here. And this will in turn boot the system. So let's just wait for the system to come up. Now uh, the system is up. Let's clear it up. Now, uh, putting up a password uh, and uh, this keyword lock to prevent the system from booting up at the boot time where we are making it mandatory to, to punch in the password to boot the system. This has got its own advantages. Of course, it's an added security feature, but uh, it has got its own disadvantages as well. As in, in a production environment, suppose say if uh, your server panics or has an accidental reboot for any reason, then the system will not come up by itself and it will be mandatory to, to punch in the password for to bring up the server. So uh, I hope this has been informative for you and thank you so much for viewing. I request you to subscribe to my channel for more technical video updates. That's all for now.